Hi, and welcome to Caterpillar Cross Stitch. I'm Kristen from the Steel City Stitchers, and I'm here today to do a quick tutorial video on how to use the railroad method. So the railroad method is a very quick and easy way to learn how to keep your stitches neat and even when you're using two strands of floss. I promise it is a technique that you can master in no time. So let's get started. So before I show you how to do the railroading method, let me just describe what the railroad method is. So similar to how a train track the tracks never cross and the tracks always run parallel to one another. That's what we're looking for with our stitches in order to create an even uniform look. We don't want our threads to get twisted and to create any puffiness that may look uneven with our stitches that are laying flat. So the railroading technique is very easy to learn. It doesn't require any additional tools or equipment in order to do it. It's just simply using your needle and thread just like you normally would. It's just one little extra step uh, to ensure that those threads don't get twisted. I feel like it doesn't slow down stitching at all. I know that that's a concern for some people with using this technique. It does take a little bit of time to get used to and to remember to do it, but once you do it, it just becomes second nature. So let's go ahead and jump in and I'm going to show you exactly how to do the railroad method. So here's the technique. You're going to separate your thread with your needle. and come back down. So again, separate. There you go. So now you have stitches that are laying nice and even and you can tell that those stitches are, the threads are laying side by side, which is what you're going for with railroading. Again, you're trying to create those train tracks. You're trying to create that even look. And this is going to create flatter stitches because your threads are twisted, which is important so that you don't have any that are puffy, you know, versus flat. Okay, so then if I were to come back up and go back and, oh, see, so you, you can already see that my threads are starting to separate, which is great. So I just find that split and pull it flat. Again, come back up. Split the stitch, come back down. So it's creating a much more even look with your stitches and it provides better coverage as well. So if you don't have stitches that are twisted, um, they are going to lay flatter, which is going to give you better coverage, especially if you're using a 14 count Ada, a 28 count linen, um, something where two strands may not be solid coverage. So I, if that's the look that you're going for, this is a great technique. Uh, some people also don't railroad both their top and bottom leg, which by that I mean their half stitches. So sometimes they won't do the bottom leg of their stitch, but I think it makes a difference. I really do. I think it just makes it overall lay a lot flatter. Now there are things such as laying tools that you can purchase, which are made of wood where you actually lay your stitch, you lay your thread over it before you complete your stitch and it's supposed to separate those threads. But this is a free way to do it. And you don't have to try to hold on to another tool while you're stitching, so it should go faster for you. And the more you do it, obviously the faster you're going to become. And it's just gonna become second nature to stitch this way. So that is railroading. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope that you found it helpful and found some ways to incorporate this new technique into your stitching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Caterpillar Cross Stitch here on Floss Tube. You never want to miss out on that great stitchy related content. Also, if you visit Sally's website at caterpillarcrossstitch.com, you can sign up for her Stitch Club VIP newsletter where you'll receive a free ebook containing six awesome patterns. And who doesn't want free patterns? I know that I do. So thanks again for watching. We will see you again soon. Bye!